Hi everyone, Kat Miller with Blue Iris Learning Center and we are going to talk today a little bit about autoimmune disorders as people had requested that of us and we'll work with the feelings a little bit, the switch words that may be useful and some of the healing numbers available for helping to deal with these things. These are things that may be useful in addition to what your doctor does for you. And sometimes we can stop it before it progresses into something like that because so very often we are swallowing down feelings for a long, long time before we actually begin to have symptoms of anything. So what is an autoimmune disorder? What's at the root of it? What causes it? We have autoimmune disorders that where the body is either hyperactive or underactive with the immune system. And in those things, it kind of attacks itself. So if that is what an autoimmune disease is about, why? Why is it that the body is attacking itself? Is there an emotion? Is there something that you've been thinking, doing, actions you've been taking that may be causing it? Attack yourself. Autoimmune disease. Attack yourself. What's your relationship with yourself like? Are you attacking yourself in your mind, in your thoughts? Do you have something about you that you have been negatively thinking? Has it been a pattern that you've continued with for a long time? Perhaps in healing your relationship with yourself, and we do have a video that we did earlier on helping to repair your relationship and work with your relationship with yourself. But that's something that you may want to look at. What are some of the autoimmune disorders that are most common from what I've seen? Your fibromyalgia or chronic fatigue syndrome, those are very common. Where have they come from? Why is the body attacking itself? A couple of thoughts I have relate to sometimes you will take actions and do things that will cause yourself problems and not even realize that you're doing it. <sighs> Chronic fatigue syndrome what if all those sugary soft drinks, all those desserts, all those sweets, all those processed carbs are building up toxins and your body has to get rid of them somewhere. The body must protect the inner organs, the core. And it will do whatever it takes to help prevent attack on those things. And when you overwhelm the body with whatever you're eating, drinking, your environment, your emotions, then it needs to get rid of those toxins. If you're not giving it plenty of water, it can't flow out and the 
best place the body has found to store toxins in the fats. So it begins to build those toxins in the fats and the body fats. And that's where you get your pains, chronic fatigue, chronic pains. Perhaps that has a bit to do with it. So, so look at cleaning those up and your emotions drive you to the actions you take. So repair that relationship with yourself, love yourself, embrace yourself as you are. And then we go forward. Now we have feelings associated with the autoimmune system. And I wanted to look at a few of them and switch words to help to accept and release them. Because if you don't accept that this is how you're feeling, if you're rejecting that feeling, you're burying it. So accept it and then release it. One of the feelings we have listed is laughing on the outside, but crying on the inside. You're showing the world what you think they want to see, not what you are, not how you feel. It's okay to feel bad. Feel it, be it, release it. That will keep you from having it continue constantly. The switch phrase we have for that is restore, act, forgive, be. Restore, act, forgive, be. Feeling totally helpless? Switch phrase, point, find, be, restore, consider, help. Another feeling, you've given up. Take 53, point, open, B. I love B. You notice that B is there so very often when we're looking at healing switch words. B is to maintain wellness, be at peace, to be unaffected by ridicule and negative or contrary energy. Let go. Quit judging yourself as wrong. And one more feeling that relates to the autoimmune disorders is deep-seated grief. The switch phrase, reverse, forgive, restore, magnanimity, release, be. These I've taken from Blue Iris Learning Center in the subscription area. So <laughs> you got a taste of this subscription there on that. We have a lot of diseases and the feelings related to them and switch words to help you to embrace and release those feelings. I also went into the database and looked for what we have besides that as uh, switch words for dealing with that. And we have a query that had come to us. How do I switch from fighting and hurting myself to clear the autoimmune system. And the switch phrase we have there 
for that is choose ah uh, align with together divine love be so there you have switch words to help with relation to immune disorders autoimmune disorders and I trust that will be helpful with those so there you have it a few switch words to help you in dealing with autoimmune diseases and helping you to release the emotions embrace accept and release the emotions that relate to it quit swallowing them down allow your body to heal we are going to do another uh, video presenting some numbers and it looks like we have a number of divine healing codes for dealing with the autoimmune disorders and so we'll present those on the next video thank you for joining us and i trust you've been enjoying these videos have a great day good day everybody Brent miller from 77 media here having fun hanging out with my parents making videos i'd like to take a moment and say hey get out there hit the little subscribe button underneath the video here click the notification icon and you'll get notified when the videos are uploaded which i usually do a day or two lately before i actually post them to facebook so if you want to get the early access go ahead and uh, subscribe and, and turn on your notifications and you will know before everybody else other than that we know you've been enjoying the videos please give comments below and we i have been reading them to see if anybody is requesting anything so Comment below, let us know what you would like to see happen. We enjoy it. Like and subscribe. Have a great day.